Yo, 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 welcome back to the MMA Short Show. It's always your boy, Stephen Moustairs. And guys, I had to get on here real quick and just react a little bit to this whole Leon Edwards and Colby Covington fight that we just got announced for UFC 296. You know, I've been sitting here for a little bit now. I feel like a lot of us have where it's like, man, what's up with this inactivity here of 170? You know, we you got the Kamar Usman return that needs to be happening. Stephen Wonderboy Thompson's got a couple more fights out there. You know, the Blah Muhammad's on a crazy win streak. He needs to figure out what he's doing. Gilbert Burns, you know, coming off an injury after that fight, but still in the mix. You got the guys coming up like Ian Gary, Jack Della Mandalena, the Shavkak Rachmanovs, the Jeff Niels, Vicente Luque. Like, it's a stacked division, and we're sitting here wondering what's going on. And then finally, finally, we get this, we get this announced in... You know, if I'm being honest here, guys, I'm really excited for this fight, man. MMA math does not always work out if we're being honest here. You know, I just because Leon Edwards beat Kamar Usman twice and Usman beat, you know, Colby Covington twice doesn't mean that Colby Covington is going to go out there and get destroyed by Leon Edwards. Like, honestly, if anything, I really like his odds here. But this is where we got to get really honest here, really, really honest here about Colby Covington. You know, although I do like the the guy's pace is out, outrageous. You know, his his striking is definitely a little better than Usman. I think Usman has a cleaner jab. But if we're talking about just, you know, th the willingness to throw, the you know, kind of putting combos together, probably even probably even the pace and everything, I'm going to take, you know, Colby Covington striking. And to be fair, too, I think his pace is a little crazier when it comes to non-fighting Kamar Usman. I think he's he got a little bit better pace between the two against other people. So, you know, I, do, I don't think it's going to be a walk in the park for Leon Edwards, but... This is where we got to get really, really honest about Kobe Covington here, guys. Like, really, really, really honest, man. You know, people say this all the time where it's like, oh, if Kamaru Usman wasn't the champion, oh, Kobe Covington would have been that guy. You know, like, oh, if John Jones wasn't there, Daniel Cormier or Gustafson would have been that guy. You know, we, we hear this all the time. He hear this all the time. Oh, if Izzy wasn't there, you know, Robert Whitaker would still be the guy. If it wasn't for Volkanovski, Max Holloway would be still, still be the guy. And this is Colby Covington's chance to prove this, man. This is his chance. We got, we finally got a little mix-up going on in this division. He's had really two close fights with Usman, which I really liked. And I really liked how he looked at him, especially like later on when he started to get the rhythm going. And, you know, this is finally his chance. But if we're being honest here, we do have to look at some of the craziest things out there, like some of the craziest stats. Like as of today, on September, what's the date today? 20, 22nd. It's been, what, five years, six months, and, what, seven days since he's even beat somebody coming off a win, which he did, again. I think it was RDA, I think he did, and, you know, he doesn't have any wins. It's zero wins over any current top 15 guy now that Mads Fidal's retired, Robbie Lawler, Robbie Lawler went out and retired, you know, Tyron Willie's out of the UFC, all these things, like, dude has no wins over anybody like that, and however long he's been out, it's crazy, but his only three wins over any active UFC fighter are Brian Barberina, Max Griffin, and Rafael Dos Anjos still. And all three of those guys I just mentioned, no hate whatsoever. Max Griffin maybe still has some sort of a shot to get up in there in the top 15 and whatnot, top 10-ish, stuff like that. But Brian Barberina towards the end of his career, you know, RDA definitely towards the end of his career. So, you know, if we're really, really looking at it here, man, like there's a there's an opportunity here that Kobe Covington shouldn't even have got this title fight. There's an argument here that he's not even worthy of this title fight. And you got guys like Bilal Muhammad out there who are staying active as heck. And even though I think I've, I've been very vocal about how boring I think Bilal Muhammad is as a fighter, you know, you got to admit Colby Covington outside of his promos and stuff is just in a, just as, you know, maybe boring as some would say. Like if you take away his little TKO against Tyron Woodley because of that rib injury, the little freak accident there, I don't think he's got a finish in like seven years is the other thing. And I think that was against Max Griffin or Brian Barberino, one of those, but you know, it's it's been crazy. It's been seven years since he's got a true finish, and I don't I don't know, man. I we're just sitting here talking about Colby. He hasn't he hasn't fought in a while, and there's no denying whatsoever that this man is an absolute star. And there's a reason he's getting a title fight in current day MMA, current day UFC, where he's the guy. He's getting all the talk, even when Leon and uh, Kamar Usman weighed in the second time, and they they brought in Colby, and he came in crazy on that last that last second, you know, little weigh in and stuff. People went crazier for him. People on the videos on YouTube, that thing got blown up way more, like quadruple the amount of views than what we saw with Usman and Le uh, Leon Edwards guys uh, weigh ins. And those were the two that were actually fighting. So there's no denying that, you know, this guy, Colby Covington, he changed his whole gimmick and everything. And although I think it's annoying, you know, it did change the world. It changed everything for him, changed the landscape MMA for him. And, you know, it's made him a superstar. It's made him somebody everybody wants to see. And if you don't like him, like a lot of people do like him, shockingly, if you don't like him, you're tuning in because you want to see him get knocked out so badly. So, like, 
he's honestly the best of both worlds. He plays like the perfect villain. And once you play such a great villain, you become almost, you know, a fan of, you know, a fan favorite. So, I mean, me personally here, I really do like Colby Covington's chance of winning against Leon Edwards, but I also really do like Leon Edwards, how, how active he's been. I feel like he's got all the confidence in the world right now, running off of two straight victories of Usman. Now, if he was coming off the first win of Usman, maybe the confidence isn't as high. You get that last second knockout, but you still got your ass beat for, what, three and a half rounds, four and a half rounds. And But then if you come off that second fight, man, just the, to go out there and just to prove everybody wrong once again and to outclass Kamar Usman for five straight rounds and just to put the work on him and kill him in every single situation and to prove that your takedown defense is legit, I mean, it's going to be... It's going to be a hell of a fucking fight and I cannot wait for it. And I'm telling you guys, it's just this is something just it's not going to it's not going to be shocking here. if Colby Covington goes out and looks a little flat since he hasn't fought in a while. Or, you know, if Leon Edwards does go out there and kind of just I don't think it'll ever be easy against Colby. But if Colby's getting dropped by Usman, I mean, I couldn't imagine what he would get dropped by if, you know, even if Leon Edwards starts hitting him or whatever. So I don't know. It's going to be a crazy fight, but clearly Colby's going to be pushing, wrestling, grappling up against the cage a lot like we saw with Masvidal. So it could be a boring fight and he could really grind this out within, you know, a couple minutes. But I'm telling you guys, don't be shocked, man. There's going to be a world here that we could have a Colby Covington and a Sean Strickland at 170, 185 champions. And like, it's almost like they're battling between each other. It's almost like white trash going at each other currently. So it's going to be pretty interesting to see if that is the case. If we have two of some of the wildest pro trump people of all time like in as champions and us americans like it'll be wild to see who wins that battle and to see not that they'd fight but to see who is going to get more fans get more love deserve more so i don't know colby covington has a real big chance here to prove everybody that like hey everybody that was saying i would be the champion if it wasn't for Usman, here's my chance you know here's my chance to shut all these people up yeah i haven't got a win over somebody in five years six months seven days or whatever it is you know and that's not even his fault it's not his fault that he's beating these people and getting matched up against these people that are you know either older or he beats them so bad that they retire him so i don't know man i don't know at all but this is this is just where we have to get honest with him man five years six months seven days without a fight or without a win over anybody coming off a dub zero current wins over anybody in the top 15 like these things speak loudly and I, I named off the three people that he's beaten it's not great you know what i'm saying it's not like what Bilal muhammad's doing it's not like what gilbert burns was doing it's not even like what shavkat rachmanov's doing or these jeff neils or any of these people out here so i don't know it is this going to be a tough one here if kobe doesn't win this ew, i don't know what's going to happen next and then it's like there's no hiding you there's no way that you can dodge a hamza there's no way you can dodge a shavkat no way you can dodge a ian gary no way you could dodge a anybody a gilbert burns or any of these people Bala muhammad all these people so i'm very very excited and intrigued for this fight and i hope you guys are too but let me know what you guys think down for sure i don't know who you guys think are gonna win but i'm leaning leon currently but i'm not gonna be shocked at all if colby gets it done so as always your boy steven moose and let's go baby let's go